Forgiveness is a byproduct of healing. It's not a process, it's not an obligation. It's just a byproduct of healing. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Tarot Tanvi. I am Tanvi, this is my studio, these are my tarot cards and I should stop shuffling. That I'm going to pull towards the end of this video. And uh, yeah, so before I go on and talk about forgiveness, I would just like to say that in case you would like to book a personal reading with me, all my links to my Instagram, my YouTube, where I upload free readings and talks, and my website are in the description of this episode, so please feel free to contact me. Now, forgiveness is something that happens organically, okay? It's not something that you have to do, you know, like for example, you need to follow certain steps in order to forgive someone, or you have to write a letter to somebody in order to forgive somebody. The second thing about forgiveness is that forgiveness is for yourself, okay? When you forgive somebody in your heart, you don't necessarily have to go and tell them, you know, that I am forgiving you. <laughs> so now that means that I have moved on from a specific situation. Forgiveness is something that is just a byproduct of healing. Now, what is healing? Healing uh, is just when you sort of move on from a specific situation. But again, we people put a lot of pressure on ourselves to move on without addressing all our emotions. Okay, so in order to heal properly, in order to really move on and to really be able to forgive somebody, it's important to heal from, from the things that have happened. So in, if in case you are unable to forgive someone from your past, okay, let's say this is the case, then this might be because there might be some emotions that you are probably trying to hide because you may be ashamed to address that you felt anger or guilt uh, in that specific situation. So you're unable to address those situations and you think that, you know, masking those those negative emotions with uh, maybe feeling positive or, you know, maybe going out, partying, whatever is your way. So uh, maybe masking those emotions is a way of healing or moving on. Okay. So, but that's not the healthy approach. The healthy approach to heal or move on from a situation involves you to accept the fact that it might take time and you will take your own time and it is okay. You might feel uh, angry, you might feel guilty, you might cry and then you might be happy and then you might cry again and then you feel happy and then you cry again. So the healing is a process and forgiveness is something that happens automatically. So once you've healed from a specific situation, you forgive other people, you forgive the people that were involved in that situation or, or who've hurt you. You know, you don't really forget these situations but then you forgive them that, okay, fine, whatever, I don't care, you know, <laughs> I have moved on. So understand forgiveness is a byproduct and you don't really have to do anything mechanical in order to forgive someone. So let me pull your cards for today. Let's see, what do we have? And we have the High Priestess as the bottom deck energy and the Death card. So the Death card is Scorpio energy and the High Priestess is Pisces energy. So these are both water signs. And uh, well, water signs are very emotional. You know, uh, water has three states, okay? So uh, solid, liquid, and gas. So uh, it is said that uh, Scorpio is the sign that is the solid state of water, while um, Pisces is the liquid state of water, okay? So this is highly, highly, highly emotional uh, phase. So death card signifies um, letting go of things that are not serving you. You know, so letting go of emotions, of your past, of the unnecessary things that you have been sort of hiding or you have been avoiding. Just let things go. Let people go. Let the job that is that is not making you happy go. Let any scenario that is not making you happy go out of your life. Now, the High Priestess is a card that talks about having high intuition. Anytime the High Priestess, which is a major arcana, and even the Death card is a major arcana, pops up, it means that the person who's watching the video, so you, already know what is right for you and what is wrong for you. So you don't necessarily need anybody's guidance in this world. All you need to do is trust yourself and trust that the universe will support you no matter what. No matter what happens, you will be able to handle and handle every situation that you face in life and you will be come out be and you will be able to come out of it beautifully. Okay? So have faith in all the endings of your life because ending is just a sign of a new beginning. Okay? Have faith in all the endings and have faith in your own intuition. 
So that's all that I have for you today. I hope that this was helpful in some way. And I will see you again next time. Bye-bye. Take care.